Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Okay, the workout today, we're focusing all on lower body, and your format is gonna be the three repeater. So we'll take one exercise, hit it for 30 seconds, 10 seconds of rest in between, and then repeat that same exercise right in a row for three rounds. This will give those muscles some good progressive overload. Okay, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, so grab that. I'm also gonna use a bench, something to step up on, but if you don't have that, no worries, I'll show you the modification. The Dumbbells that I'm using in today's workout are listed right here, so take a look at the screen, but as always, lift within your own abilities. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. little strength on my watch here today. Let's start with some hip openers. We're gonna open up and then come back around. So up, open, and then back around. There you go. I did some big steep hikes yesterday, so I do feel my calves a bit. That's what happens when you're climbing uphill. I'll often climb on my tiptoes, right? Leaning forward. But legs felt okay today when I woke up. So I'm like, yeah, I can hit this. I can do it. Good. Let's take it feet shoulder width apart, reach low, and then up to the tiptoes there. Last one here, then take it wide, toe taps. Okay, last one here, but stay on the side. All right, we're just stretching through that hammy a little bit here and walk it to the other side. Very nice. All right, and going into a side lunge, I'm gonna drop low to the ground, but if you need to stay up high, feel free, a little side to side. I'm just drawing my elbow down toward the ground when I visit each side here. Increasing that stretch in the inner thigh. Good, we're up. Toes are out. Let's plie and open right here. Last one here. Good, up to tiptoes. Swing your arms. Five more. And finish with your torso turn here. Nice, all righty, there is the first exercise. Three rounds, 30 seconds each, and here we go. Starting with that low sumo squat. I've got my 15s. Wide stance, hold them in the center, shoulders back, and drop. You're here, and power through your flat foot. Back is nice and tall. Try to get nice and low, good. Thinking about those glutes. Now my feet are facing the front and they might turn out slightly. Depends on your own ergonomics, your knees and how what feels good for you. It's not fully to the side like a plie, but maybe slightly turned. And rest. Good, okay. 
Make note of your form. You could hold the weights on your shoulders if that feels better as well. And we drop and drive. One more here. Drop it now and low and power. Setting those down. We'll do a no equipment with our round the world lunge here. Front, side, reverse. Here we go to the side and reverse. Switch sides. Front, side, and reverse. Good. We'll just alternate that lead leg. Still in that warm up mode, so no equipment is okay here for me, but feel free to hold dumbbells if you wish. Good, check it out. Round two. I'll start with my left leg and work to the side and reverse. Now switch. Take one more here. Starting with my right leg this time. Here we go. And your front and side. Reverse. Switch. Very nice. Moving to that tiptoe squat. I'll hold the 15s. Okay, 30 seconds on one side. Shoulders back, tiptoe here, and we drop. We'll do 30 seconds on the other side, and then we'll split the difference on the last. I will call halfway, so stay with me here for now. Good, back is tall, drop really low. Last one here, and rest, switching toes. So you're putting the lion's share of your weight on that flat foot. Tiptoe is just for balance here, and we drop and drive. All right, switch back to the original foot. I'll call half, we'll switch toes. Ready, drop it low and here and up, good. A 
Last one on this side. And switch your tiptoe and draw. Back to no equipment with my plie releve pulse. Super wide stance, tiptoes here, and pulse. If you can't balance, I want you to just alternate heel lift. All right, so then you have at least one flat foot on the ground. Otherwise, we're just gonna burn out that inner thigh here. A little pulse, little tip. <laughs> Right on those tiptoes if you can. I know it's easier in bare feet, but. And rest, holy shnikes. <laughs> That's a burner. Round two, wide, up and pulse. Burns, just give yourself two second rest. Pop back in. Okay. Sometimes the muscles just take a little bit to get accustomed to the movement, right? Oh, like that. Wowza. Okay, one more. <laughs> Sorry, I'm complaining. Here we go and work. Into your reverse lunge, I'm gonna add a kick. Okay, I'll hold 15s, same side. Ready, here we go, drop it low and kick, or you can tap if you're too tippy. That's fine too. Stay with me on this side. Nice, and switching legs. Nice and tall. Drop that back knee, and you're low. Okay, I'll call halfway, we'll switch this time. Here we go, take it low and kick. Last here, switch legs. I'll move to my 20s for my stiff leg deadlift. These are soft. We hinge and you're slow and drive.
Very nice. Rest, round two. Knees are soft and slow. Good. Okay, one more. Really reach those hips back, keep your back flat. Okay, very nice, into your frog leg lift. Same side, wide stance, here we go. You're low and lift, good. You're lifting it as high as you can with good form and comfortability, okay? If you can't touch the ground, you're just reaching low, back is flat, head is neutral. Stay with me here. Last one here. Switching legs. Wide stance. Low and lift. Low and lift. Now we'll switch halfway. I'll call half. Wide, drop and lift. Okay, switch your leg low. Other side, let's go. into a prisoner squat. You can simply do a squat with the weight uh, hands behind your head if you don't want to kneel. Otherwise, knee, knee, stand and tap, switch sides. Good. Yeah, not everyone will be able to do this for their knees, but you can just do a squat. That works too. And rest. Round two, hands are here. And you low, low, up and tap. Switch lead legs. Last one coming. I sweat right there. <laughs> Ready and knee. Full stand. Try to push straight up right here. Don't lean forward.
We'll move into a single leg deadlift coming up, but I'm gonna do four rounds, okay? Good. I'll hold to 20. We're gonna do left, right, left, right, just to, because you don't get enough if you switch. Ready, knee soft, and we're hinging. Now you could do the kickstand deadlift here if you're too tippy on the deadlift, okay, on the single leg. This is my favorite, so I feel good here. Head is neutral, in alignment with my spine, and I'm just looking at the ground as I reach forward. Hip goes back, and switching sides. Whew, good. Knee is soft, hinge at the waist. Here we go. You're thinking of hamstring here, lengthening. Stretch, 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 contract. Oops. Switch again. I'm doing uh, opposite leg and hand is holding. Okay, here we go. one on the side and a quick water break after this. Knee is soft and hinge. There it is, nice. Grab a drink. Okay, 30 second rest right here. You could always pause, ignore that. Pause if you need a little bit longer of a rest, okay. There's the next exercise, take a look at the screen. Join me back. Grabbing my 15s again for my alternating front lunge. Again, you could rack these up on your shoulders if elbows are sore. Here we go, and we drop. Sometimes if you have tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, holding heavy weights only exacerbates that. So then, you know, you can rack them to the shoulders and allow the shoulders to support. But you have to pick a weight that you can rack up there and not hurt the elbow. <laughs> you could do this weightless as well, of course. Nice, and rest. Round two, shoulders back. And one more here. Nice and tall, and you drop, push.
hitting the in and out squat or narrow wide squat. New equipment for me, starting narrow and low. You don't want to come out of this position here. We're going to keep that squat, okay? Shoulders back though, chin is neutral, looking at me. If you need a rest, you're just standing up, maybe doing some high knees until you're ready to come back down. And shake it out, round two. Narrow here. One more here. Narrow to start and you drop. Open, close, open. I'm moving into that side lunge rocker next. You could hinge at the waist, but if that hurts your back, you're gonna stand up nice and tall. Side to side lunges, okay? I'm gonna hold that 15. one. So you'll hold it up here, hit that side to side lunge or here and switch the hand. Rapid fire. Back is flat, core engaged here. Don't want to round in that upper back. Reach your hips back. Come on. Reach. Rest, whew, quads are feeling this today. Round two, and switch, and switch. here, then moving into that ipsilateral single leg deadlift, same side, and switch. Stick your chest out. I'll grab a 20 for my ipsilateral. So same leg, same hand, same side. Knee is soft, you hinge. More glute this way now. All right, you could equally do what we said before, is that single leg deadlift kickstand. Think of your glute now, okay? And again, we'll do Two per side on this guy. Very nice. You could go against a wall or chair for a bit of balance if you need, if you're finding this is just too tippy, or hit the kickstand.
switch again. One more each side. Are you feeling it more in the glute? Put your mind in that muscle. side. Knee soft and hinge. Grabbing my other 20, racking it for a front squat now. Hold those weights in the front, drop nice and low. Keeping knees equal distance apart. Round two. And drop. here. Roll those wrists. Okay. Rack it. I'm grabbing a 12 for my squat lunge twist. Four of these as well. Squat, uh, squat lunge twist. So we squat, lunge and twist, back to squat. Switch sides. Take a step here. Squat, lunge, twist, up. Good. Switch sides again, one more each side. Into your squat, lunge, and pull to that twist.
Switch one more here. Then a water break. All right, drop that squat. Lunge. Nice. When we come back, I'm heading down to the ground for a few. I'm gonna start with those glute thrusts with my 40 pound dumbbell. Putting that 40 pounder on my pelvis, feet are close to my bottom, shoulder width apart, a little pause at the top. All right, so you're one 1,000 low, two 1,000 low, good. Squeeze the glutes, drop. Now, if you just have a light weight here or no weight, just give me rapid fire. Okay, up and squeeze. Just go as nice, quick clip. You wanna fatigue those glutes here. And we're gonna do a few things to fatigue them, so not to worry there. Hopefully you'll feel it by the end. Then pause, all right. Adjust your feet, bring them closer to your bottom. Round two, here we go, and you're up. One 1,000 low, two 1,000 low. I just make sure that I have a really good grip on that dumbbell. Don't want her rolling down my body to my chiclets. <laughs> I love the word chiclets. Why is that so funny to me every time? Up. Nice. Okay, one more. Just gonna rest my wrists. Feet close. Here we go. And we won 1,000 drop. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Like really contract. Set that down, going into your single leg deadlift, and I'm gonna put my foot on my dumbbell. Here we go, push it up and down. Now I'm rapid fire here. Okay, we'll just do three rounds here, because this is gonna burn. I'll call halfway on that third round, but right now you're just rapid fire. Let's go. See, that's on fire already. Oh, switch sides, 30 seconds here. You could do it from the floor if your dumbbell's not stable. Here we go, and we're up, down, up, down, good. Wow, she's fire. Switch back, now I'm gonna call halfway, so just 15 seconds. Kick it, kick it up, rapid fire, and work right here, you're up, down, up, down, push. Up to tabletop and squeeze, but you don't wanna arch the back. You're hitting that little pelvic tilt to squeeze and activate glutes. All right, switch your leg and up. We're gonna go back to that glute thrust, but a frog glute thrust this time, so feet together, knees fall apart. I'm gonna grab my 40 again. Putting it up on my hips. Now, feet together, knees open, hold that dumbbell well. And one 1,000 low. 
to 1,000 low. Whew, rest, round two. Feet together, knees open and up. Down, and one, down. Okay, one more here. Well, it's heavy on those hips, isn't it? Ready, up and down. I'm gonna pause at the top there. Whew, almost there, 10 seconds. Then we're standing. Now moving to those step ups. If you don't have a bench to step up on, you're gonna do a squat with a high knee. All right, to make your way up, make sure you're not dizzy. I'm gonna grab my 15s. We're just gonna alternate this step up. Again, you can hit that squat high knee or alternating step up for the last exercise. So up, up, down, Tap at the bottom or tap at the top. Of course, you could do this without weights as well. I'm gonna try and challenge myself and get my heart rate elevated. <laughs> Cause it wasn't already. <laughs> it was. Don't be fooled. Stay tall, shoulders back. All right, rest. Just a little rest. 10 seconds is not long. Round two and up. Okay, last one. Whew. Yeah, she's up there. Work hard. Here we go. And you're up, up, and tap. Stay with me. Last 15 seconds here. You're almost done. You've almost moved daily. Keep going. In three, two, one and done. Now you've moved daily in your three repeater leg workout. Nice work, join for a stretch if you can. Whew. Nice work everyone. Let's go right into pigeon here. Okay, you could sit in that 90-90 position and hinge forward if pigeon hurts your knee. Otherwise, come right down here, sink down low. Ooh, it's such a good stretch for the glutes. Wowza, notice how dusty everything is in this lower region. <laughs> Holy, do I dust or not? Not is the answer to that. With everything being black, you're like, okay, it doesn't look, it's fine down here, it's not dusty, but down here it does look like that. All right, switch sides. Get to clean out the cobwebs, as it were. Gotta be a metaphor in there somewhere. <laughs> Cleaning out the old stuff, bringing in the new. Well, it is spring. And for me, that just doesn't it just give you a feeling of something 
anticipatory. I always feel, I get an actual feeling in my stomach of excitement, of being outside, of new things. And I was listening to this TikTok the other day on, he was reading an excerpt from his book. All right, let's flip it to the back. And nice hamstring stretch here. And he basically said that he was doing a stitch with this young guy who was like, time is flying by so fast, I don't have time for anything, and life just seems so mundane and routine. And so then this gentleman started reading in this excerpt from his book, Switch Sides, that had all to do with adventures and how important scheduling different adventures in your life are. Because when we look back at our life, uh, it's often made up, let's let the leg fall over to the side, keep the shoulders on the ground. It's often made up of moments where we've done something new, unique, maybe slightly scary, adventurous. And I just thought to myself, like right now, I feel like I'm in that place where it's very mundane. And I, I know, switch sides, I'm longing for an adventure of some sort. We are going to the Zions in May, so that's gonna be helpful. But it can, it can get that way. So I was talking to my friends about this yesterday as we were hiking. And Denise just said, you know, I think we need to really think about things, even within our own town, what we do and how to make it adventurous. Because a number of years ago, let's do a quad stretch, during the pandemic, we would get out for hikes. And we hiked so many different mountains, some for the first time in the Okanagan here. And it was a little bit further to drive though, right? It wasn't as convenient. And so sometimes that's a pause point. For me, it's a huge pause point. I'll be like, nah, I don't want to do it. But every time, like I think back when I went on a snowshoe adventure with my sister and her husband and uh, he made a fire and we roasted wieners and, you know, did the whole bit. And initially I'm like, oh, it's going to be cold. I don't, I don't feel like doing that. And then I just made myself go. And it was so amazing. Like the experience when you look back and afterward the feeling, you're like, that was so fun. Something I hadn't done in a long time or maybe never done. And so I just need to schedule in more moments for adventures. And even if it doesn't mean traveling, like, yes, it'd be nice to have endless money and just go on all the adventures in the world, but that's not the case for most of us. And so, you know, just thinking, what could you do here that would bring a new adventure? Maybe it's starting a pickleball league. You know what? Maybe I should do that because I do like pickleball. And that would be something like on a weeknight that it would just go, okay, this is something to look forward to. And you don't feel like it, but every time, it's like a workout. Every time you're done, you're like, that was amazing. I loved that. That was so fun. Yeah. So think about that, creating more adventures in your own life. Think about what you could add in and uh, let us know in the comments below if you're doing something that's really fun and adventurous and maybe we'll get inspiration from you. All right. Thanks everyone. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition and I'll see you in the next workout.